Hey guys, Banana Luck here, and welcome back to another Watch Our Realms video. We're back with uh, another Samra takeover. This time around, we're going to be playing with Predators, and the aim here is to go for 50k fragments at least. Uh, so, this is my friend's account, and the last time we took over, I think it was yeah, 46 million. Um, no, this was from my own record, but before this, she didn't have Predators, so things were a lot tougher. But now with Predators, we're going to try to go for 50k. I tried 46k earlier, but my Nazim died halfway and that sort of ruined everything. And I realized it was the wrong set of gear, not enough HP. So going to hit to change that and just going to hit in now and do the auto fight to get the placements down. Uh, placements might look a bit weird for... No, this is the wrong placement. Let me hit out. And redo it because uh, we only have two invigoration sets and it's actually on constants and uh, I think the other one was on Torador. Yep, so you just need to make sure that we get those two bars. Um, let's do Praetors first. Praetors. No, that's wrong. Out, gets obliterated. Dragons, constants, and then we can just place the rest down normally. It's fine, and the arrogance here. This is here. Let's see, and Alistair. Okay, that's good. There's two guys with Sobar Kana. That's uh, Alistair, sorry. Raiders, and um. So that's up. So we're gonna just pop those two ultimates early on. Just to get some Sobar Kana stacks going. And then slam that Salazar down. Nazim is struggling with a bit of rage regen. After we switch the gear around, but that's fine. Just need to get through this three times in the last phase before we get to 50k fragments. So same thing as my normal strats, 2%, that's when we prop everything here. We're just waiting for last. We have the ultimate up. And we'll prop everything again, as well as the faction skill. It's raining down with lightning. You see, we are having three stacks of radiant erosion going, which is nice. Uh, that means damage is coming through hard. And let's do the hammer again. Nice. Poison stage. Uh, this is probably the most straightforward part because she has a maxed out Edwin. So nothing to be really concerned about here. Wait for the next wave. And she should have her ultimate up by then. Go. And Samurai is almost down to for this phase. And we can start to slow things down in a bit. And get the ultimates ready. 
Oops, I shouldn't have popped the Zims out, but let's hope that's okay. I think it might cause us to be too late for the next phase, but let's see. Yeah, does it looks like it's gonna be in time. Yep, it's not. It's bad. Uh, let's see if we can get the out from Percy in time. Okay. Second phase, so we barely scratch through, fortunately. Um, let's see. Might need one last Nazim out. Okay. Yeah, that was sketchy as hell. My bad, misclicked. And let's prop this stuff up first. Then we should have the faction hammer down again. And the hammer as well. Surprisingly, Pridus does not clear this as easily as I thought he would. But to be fair, um, it's a bit lacking in terms of gear. So we don't have a fantastic set of Pridus at the moment. Now we have everything up. Just to prop everything again. Hammer. Can see five stacks on the boss now, but still going strong. I think one reason is that her first C is almost maxed out with that AoE reduction spell. Okay, almost there. And let's hope the hammer comes up in time. Zap, zap, zap. Very nice. And now it's just another wit. Poisons. Now we just wait for Constance to do one cycle of ultimates. I think we need that. And we might even pop down the wood elves if we feel some support is needed here. There might be a bit of an overkill, but let's see. Hey, we have our ultimates up again, that's great. And just need to make sure we don't pop the Zims out by accident again. And let's see if we can get the hammer out in time. Very nice. And as long as we're able to get through the second Aegis phase, we should be able to net that 50k that she wanted. I'm just going to pop the Zims out a bit prematurely so that we can get it up before the second wave. have enough damage now we can just nazim our way through it from here on
Very nice. We have all the ultimates ready. Uh, should clear this in a bit here. And we're not going to prop any skills because we want to save it for this very moment here. I'm not sure why the Death Star animation is playing instead, but I guess whatever worked for us. Okay, next wave of ultimates again. And the hammer as well. We got a hammer, and I think we should be able to clear this. We should be able to. So the amount of lots dropping. King Haas, Venema, Morrigan. Crazy stuff. Hey, okay, barely making it there. Might need to prop another self ultimates just to be safe. Maybe we'll prop the hammer. Let's see. Okay, we managed to clear through that. That's the most important thing, and we should secure 50k from here. Halloween's up should be up before that first wave of poison hits. There we go. It's a bit late of an ultimate, but... the wood elf here, get some support going. Yeah, Nazim dies here unfortunately. We should have Elowins out up again. Here we go. And let's just wait for all this. Once Torador dies there, it's pretty much game over because her tank is gone. Means that the rest of the team might start falling apart here. If this is the one with the big rock dropping and if it's on Salazar, we can try to dodge it. But let's see. Yep, it is on Salazar, so I'm gonna dodge it. Fine, and we should be able to make it to the next wave, and the Z will be up in a bit here. Maybe even go to 60k here. This is the one with the rock dropping, so... Oh! It fell on Constance instead, not sure why. But we should have the... the zooms out soon. Okay, 
Once we have that, we can pop all this ultimates again. Okay, easily done. She could get 80k very easily. She just needs better gear for now. And Torador dying that early on was not um, optimal as well. And let's do a first heal out here. Okay, and we'll wait for Constance out for a bit. Yeah, he's uh, um, Corridor needs a bit more HP. Should be able to clear this. Um, I'm so confident from the fact that, um, this last hit might do quite a bit of damage, but nope. We might get there. But definitely not the next AJ space, because we really struggled with the last one. Just save ultimates and try to go for a big push when this boss goes down. Seventy K maybe? I think that's what we can go for. Okay, ultimate's up in a bit. Uh, I popped that a bit too early, but it's fine. Looks like we're gonna get to that 70k pretty easily. Who knows, might even get an 80k. Okay, correct. Go. Eloin's out here, get some heal. Yeah, you can see first he goes down there and things will pretty much fall apart from here. Just for that lack of AoE damage with that. But yeah, she's doing great work just considering the amount of heroes she has. Or rather the type of gear that she has. Hey, it's pretty much game over here, but that's fine. Alright with that. Constance still surviving for a long while. I think she's gonna go down here. Okay, 72k well exceeding what we expected. Um we're expecting 50k, but Predator's obviously being ridiculously strong. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead to save that. That's done. Let's see damage. Yeah, Parader is doing crazy work here. 190 million just by himself. Alistair doing great work as well, only because it's A1 and Arrogance is not even in uh, Soba Kana set, so could go a lot higher. But yeah, that's the run, and we can just take a look at the gear wise. See what we got going on. Invigoration, Inferno Raw, not optimal. Soba Arcana, Inferno Raw, uh, could be an Invigoration set. Soba Arcana, uh, less rough for that high base attack so that he can get a uh, high damage of Radiant Erosion. Another Invigoration set. Uh, this one is just attack speed and a bit of rage regen. And then we have Percy over here. Nothing too special, mostly uh, average gear. Uh, some don't even have perfect stats, but you know, Praetors being Praetors, we still manage to nap 72k pretty easily. And this is mine at the top. Uh, instead of having Praetors, we have Silas and Arrogance doing great work. But that's uh, because of the fact that my Arrogance has way better gear. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it uh, showcasing Praetors being absolutely disgusting. Take over, I did have Valderon, but the guy was seriously lacking in gear, so we couldn't showcase much. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And yeah, see you in the next one.
Goodbye.